Welcome back to the channel. Producer Pete here and I know it's been a while I've kind of neglected this channel and one of my rules for this year and 2025 is to do a lot more content on this channel. There is a lot more content that I have coming as well in um, in the form of like podcast uh, courses and so on. But anyway, more about that. This video though is all about the Stream Deck. The main use that I'm going to be using the Stream Deck for is going to be for um, recording podcasts. So uh, it's kind of a thing that I've been doing more and more recently. I thought this little thing will be the prime uh, piece of equipment, especially when it comes to live switching between cameras and so on. So me and you together, we are going to quickly put this uh, and hopefully quickly set this up together. So let's jump straight in then, which I'm guessing the first step. Uh, I've already plugged the Stream Deck in and uh, once you plug it in, you'll see this nice little logo up here. Uh, this is a thing that you've probably seen a lot when it comes to I mean, live streaming, maybe it'd be gaming streaming, right? maybe it'd be uh, for video podcasts and things like that. So first thing we're going to do then, we're going to uh, go ahead and install. We're going to go to elgado.com forward slash downloads. We're going to install Stream Deck. So a lot of videos on this, how to use Stream Deck with OBS, right? This is something that I've kind of just completely had to figure out myself because a lot of YouTube videos completely skip this very step. And what I have discovered is um, all down the right hand side here as you open Stream Deck up, loads of different things and it literally is a drag and drop thing. So for the OBS, to control OBS, you have to go to the little gear icon up here. You have to go across to plugins. You have to go to the plus sign, which will take you to the website marketplace for Elgato. Um, I guess I'm going to have to sign in here as well, but we're going to have to go to the OBS Studio. So the OBS Studio plugin has been installed. So these are all the controls then that the Stream Deck can do with OBS. But to change your scene, to change your camera, or to change you know whatever it is in your scenes, it's scene. Drag that in there. I'm going to replace that. This will work with the OBS that's currently open. So you need your OBS project open in order for it to link to it. Then the cool thing here is you can actually change the image or you can create a new icon for it as well, which will take you to the Elgato website. Maybe I can just put like a big number one there perhaps, or maybe just do a text. Yeah, we'll just do that and we'll just put a giant one. There. And then what should happen? You can see got that when I hit the save key. I'm going to save that to downloads. And you can go there. So that's already saved as a PNG file. Settings of that. I'm going to set that from a file that's saved in my downloads. And I'll stream that key. And there's number one. So I think it's very, very useful. So just something that's a little bit easy on the eye. Anyway, I, I can go a little bit more creative on that and so on and make it a little bit better. But just for now, that's what I'm doing for that. Uh, so that's going to be scene one. I'm going to just do the same again. I'm going to drag another scene in and I'm going to select the scene two for that one. So uh, then down here, I've just got the simple stop and record. Let's see what the audio mixer hacks are. So we can choose the source that is, this is going to be very useful. If you are doing like live streaming or maybe you are, uh, as I will be, it'll be recording podcasts with this and kind of mixing as I go, vision mixing as I go. So um, I'm going to use my uh, my source, my audio mixer. And it's going to unmute. I'm learning as I go, but hopefully that's a, a quick insight on how to get it going anyway and how to get the ball rolling and how to get OBS into your stream deck. So once again, just before I end, uh, you just hit the wee gear icon. You're going to go to plugins. You're going to go to that plus symbol there, which will take you to the Elgato website, download OBS Studio, and you'll be good to go. Also, make sure your OBS session is open up. So let's go back to our little screen here, which is now nicely populated. Now, simply, this, this should work if I hit number two. We go to our webcam that's up at the top there. Number three was our current screen. And number one was the, the main camera. It, easy as that. You know what? It's it's a lot easier than I expected it to be. But that's a very quick overview. And uh, something that I want to tell you about as well on this channel, I am going to try my best to do a lot more videos on this channel uh, simply because um, I am going to be trying to release a full course on podcasts. So 
um, uh, you know, a lot of people have been commenting different questions um, and different, you know, asking for different tips and so on on a lot of my videos. I am going to be creating a podcast course. And the thing is, with the subscribers and with you who are watching right now, I'm going to give uh, the course away for free. So if you're watching right now, you'll get a code in uh, the upcoming videos that I'm doing, which will give you that free link to go for the course completely free just to get the course out there for you to give me your your feedback on it as well so i'm going to be putting a lot of work into it it's going to take a lot of time but it's one of the things that i want to focus on for this year thank you for staying with me thank you for coming back to watch this video the first one of 2025 hopefully the first of many as well if you haven't already do hit the like button on the video hit the subscribe button as well and don't forget if you have any questions whatsoever do uh, leave them in the comments and do you know what I'm kind of wondering to myself, how has it taken so long for me to get one of these? Don't forget, hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.